Hey everyone, uh, we're doing something a little different this month. Uh, typically we do a monthly Q&A. Um, we recently launched some character updates that were pretty controversial. Uh, so we wanted to take the time and, and look at all the feedback from the, uh, the forums community and, and see what Patrick was saying about the, the recent announcements about character updates and address that. We felt that the uh, Q&A session would have been full of questions like this anyway. And, uh, we saved you guys the trouble of writing in your questions, basically. So I've got a couple of the uh, designers from the team here. Um, I'm Kubir, I'm the product manager on Marvel Puzzle Quest, and this is... Uh, I'm Miles, I'm, I'm a designer. And I'm Will, I'm the lead designer on Marvel Puzzle Quest. So we're going to talk about the uh, the five characters that were updated. Uh, the Where we're filming this, it's a Thursday, we're hoping to get this live this week, and then you'll see the updates in-game on uh, Monday, uh, the 23rd of March. So, uh, Miles, you want to kick us off with the first character update? Uh, sure. So the first character to get updated was Ragnarok. Uh, he got a third power, and uh, before we even before we even looked at it, you know, in depth, we were like, Ragnarok should have charge tiles. That was that's a cool Thor thing, and he needs to be more Thor-like. Uh, I think for a while he sort of existed in this space where he was like, I mean, fictionally he's a clone of Thor, but I never really got that sense. From him in our game, he was a sort of weird destroy the two middle columns machine that didn't really feel like a Thor. So when we, when we reimagined him, we wanted to make sure that he felt uh, more Thor-like, uh, but in his own unique way. Um, and I think we captured that. Um, uh, one of the uh, major uh, comments we've gotten on, on Ragnarok is that uh, is uh, the change to his green. Um, people are uh, asking why, why we did that. I think. The, when we looked at the green, um, it was a little bit clear that we had um, essentially under-costed the effect, and so to keep that same effect, we would have had to make the power significantly weaker. So instead, we sort of reimagined it as uh, something a little bit larger, a little bit more impressive, and a little bit more Thor-like. That, that also we also thought that that like captures some of the way that um, that Thor that like other characters who play like Thor play in our game like right. there's this there's this gameplay of like doing one ability that leads into another ability that leads into another, another ability that leads into a big smash right right so now he's got that awesome uh, who else do we have do you want to talk about uh, Iron Fist Iron Fist uh, yeah so we we. Uh, we made an update to Iron Fist, and um, unfortunately, uh, so we launched him a, couple, a week or so ago. I don't, know, don't quote me on that. Citation needed. Um, and uh, and you know, uh, immediately we had feedback that oh, his his purple it's making too many too many black uh, converting too many tiles to black, and uh, and we looked at it, and sure enough, it totally was, and so we've we've made the update and. Um, uh, we've you know re re redone the math, and so we now with uh, looking at it, it's uh, significantly uh, more more balanced, um, but still preserving I think all of the uh, original intent. And uh, for those of you who worked really hard for Iron Fist, or maybe have bought uh, bought uh, direct power upgrades for him, uh, I think we have some uh, yes. customer service. Uh, so we, we didn't have this as a policy before, and that was definitely a mistake, so we're, we're changing the policy around this. If, uh, if you've spent HP to direct uh, ability purchase any of uh, characters' abilities, and we go on to update that character uh, within 30 days of their release, uh, you can write into our customer support. I'll make sure there's a link in this video that, you, that lets you do that. Um, include your PvP name, and we'll refund you the HP that you spent for that character ability. So in this case, uh, we're acknowledging that we made a mistake with Iron Fist, and going forward for him and for other characters, if we if we release one and we find something's broken, we have to make a character update. Uh, you should get a refund for the HP that you spent to uh, to cover that character fully. Cool. Um, do you want me to keep going, or do you want to take one? Magneto, sure, go for it. Um, so uh, another character that we changed was uh, Magneto Marvel Now, our uh, two-star Magneto. Um, and he, he's been in the game for a long time. I think uh, close to even before we launched, we launched with him and everything. So, so he's been in the game for a long time. And he's been sort of the cornerstone of a lot of very, uh, very powerful combos with a few different characters over in his, in his tenure in our game. And uh, the most recently was a infinite turn combo with Mystique. Um, and 
you know, uh, there's a there's a fine line between having powerful synergy with a character and having uh, and having sort of a broken synergy with a character. And and one of the one of those lines is when you don't let the enemy take a turn, um, ever. And we were finding that players were, were using these two characters to exploit that, and so we decided we needed to, to make an update. Um, when we looked at his purple pow uh, ability, um, we looked at uh, uh, wanting to keep it sort of the, uh, the same sort of feel of uh, intelligently placing blue tiles and making that a uh, uh, fun, you know, sort of strategy. We wanted to keep that uh, as much as possible, um, but also... Um, make him a little more versatile. You know, we couldn't. Uh, we found that placing tiles was a lot more expensive than we we originally thought, and so um, we had to reduce that. But we wanted to make him still synergize with with players, and I think or with other characters. And I think that when players uh, try out the new Magneto Marvel now, they'll find that he synergizes really well with uh, with two star Thor, with two star Wolverine, uh, extremely well with two star Hawkeye. And so uh, while there might be some other uh, Combos uh, that he is less effective at. I think they'll find that um, he's uh, he's more effective with with a wider variety of, of partners in our game. Cool. Yeah, I uh, keep hearing uh, I keep hearing players ask about like my, my Storm Nito, my Storm Nito. But I think uh, I'm at, I, we played them a bunch in the office, and I find them to be really really fun to pair with uh, Wolverine and Thor now. So. Cool. And that leads into Mystique. Um, so we addressed one piece of that infinite turn combo with uh, Magneto, uh, and we looked at Mystique a little more closely. Those two characters together, you know, revised Magneto and Mystique, um, still uh, were uh, a little too infinite turn-y, especially in combination with some other characters uh, in our game, specifically Professor X. Um, so we, we had more to do there. Uh, as part of our rework of Magneto Marvel Now, we, uh, we started rethinking about um, our costing for converting one type of tile into another type of tile. Um, the, that is, in a game with as much randomness as ours, an ability like that is hard to evaluate. Uh, one of the ways we do that is by, um, by running the ability over and over and looking at what happens to the board and how much damage it does and how much AP is generated. Uh, and uh, we, we did that a while back for uh, a bunch of different values of uh, converting four tiles from one color to another, converting five tiles, converting six tiles, and we came up with this, with this graph that relates uh, how many tiles you create to how powerful that is. Um, it turns out that uh, um, and then we, when, we, when we made Mystique, uh, Mystique converts one tile into two other types of tiles. Uh, and we thought that had less, um, thought that was less powerful than converting one type of tile into one other type of tile. So we looked at our graph and we bumped it down a little um, and we played with it um, and it was pretty close. Um, and so we released Mystique the way it was. Uh, as we, as we uh, ran that ability, as we simulated that ability many more times and looked really much closer at the balance of that ability than we had been able to do before, uh, we found that it was still a, it was a little bit off. Um, so we adjusted the AP costs um, just a little bit by one, and we adjusted the number of tiles that it created also a small amount by one in the other direction. And we think now uh, she hits that, that power curve that we're intending for her uh, a little more spot on. Uh, uh, the other character that I wanted to talk about is the, uh, the last character that we changed in this batch of changes, uh, which is four-star Thor, Goddess of Thunder. Um, uh, she, um, I, don't, I don't think it's uh, a surprise to anyone that's like, playing at higher levels of this game that uh, she's far and away our most powerful character. Um, and in order to have a healthy, high-level play where people are, there's an interesting choice about what team you bring to the fight, uh, she needed to come down in power. Um, so I, th I think the, the, um, the direction of her change is not a surprise to anybody. Um, one thing you'll notice about uh, all of the changes that we, made, that we made in this batch, all of the balancing mistakes that we made, is that they all relate to, um, to AP generation in some way. Um, uh, that's something that we've, uh, it's, that's hard to evaluate because it, because it depends on the other characters in the game 
uh, and uh, it's just a little bit harder to cost than, than doing damage to somebody. Um, so it's an area where we're more, we're more likely to make mistakes. Um, uh, and, and that was particularly true of, uh, of Thor, uh, Four Star Thor, where we, we really undervalued her charge tiles. There's a couple of ways we could fix that. Um, uh, one way is to make charge tiles themselves weaker. We'd actually played, when, in the, during the development of Forced Arthur, we'd played with a charge tile that generated less AP, uh, 2 AP instead of 3. Um, and that wasn't, that didn't shake up the, the board, shake up the experience of matching as much as we wanted charge tiles to do, so that's why we went with 3 instead of 2. So our other main choice, our other main option there is to reduce the number of charge tiles that um, that Thor Goddess of Thunder creates. So that's the general direction that we went. Um, a question, a common question that came up on the forums is why uh, why her yellow ability also got weaker. Um, uh, I think most most players were under the impression, and, and I am too, that her yellow was uh, by a significant margin the weakest of her three abilities. Um, that's that's true. Uh, it was also overpowered relative to the target that we have for four-star characters. That target has been evolving as we add more four-stars to the mix. When we added our first four-stars, we just we just knew that, um, great, they feel this, the right amount more powerful than three-stars than we want them to. Uh, and I think as we try to create a more balanced ecosystem of four-star characters where there there's room for more different kinds of characters, um, we, we're getting a, we're narrowing in um, the, the right power band for four-star characters, and uh, four-star Thor felt outside it, and we're bringing, bringing her back inside it now. Um, so back to the yellow ability. The yellow ability was overpowered relative to that four-star target, um, and we brought it down. We brought it, we brought it down a lot less than the other two abilities, so we're hoping that um, it's now a more interesting choice how you choose to configure configure powers. Cool. Uh, so these character updates will launch, uh, I think I said this before, I'm just rearing, It'll, they'll launch on Monday. Uh, we hope you guys check them out in game, play with them for a little while, and definitely send us a lot more feedback. We'd, we'd love to hear what you uh, what you have to say once you get a chance to play with all these characters. Uh, and uh, to reiterate the bit about Iron Fist, if uh, starting on Monday, if you are unhappy with your Iron Fist and you purchase covers for him, uh, please write in to support, include your PvP name, and we're happy to refund you. Um, we'll do that for characters going forward. So, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, thanks for listening to this babble for a while. <laughs> <laughs> thanks Bye. for playing.